Before we go on with this episode, I want to even start prefacing it by saying this was recorded in February 2024. And as I'm speaking to you, it's the 13th of October 2024. I know it's been a long time. It's not supposed to be spoken about now. You're going to hear me talk about things that happened eight months ago. And I don't know if it's eight months ago now, but it's okay. This episode has to come out before every other episode comes out. And that's why I'm doing this and I'm dropping this. However, it's a very, very pertinent conversation. And you understand why in a bit. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Words with That One Lady. Happy Valentine's Day (laughs) to you and yours, every one of you. Hi, guys. Welcome to another episode of the podcast. It has been a very, 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 very long time since I recorded an episode. And to this episode, I'm recording on the go. As I record this, it is the 14th of February, 2024. And um, first of all, Happy New Year, guys. I know, I know, I know, I know. I literally don't even know where to start from. Or oh, I don't even know what I'm doing, podcast oriented. But I meant to, you know, post something on Valentine's Day, of which this will not come out on Valentine's Day, of course, because we're going on Valentine's Day. It will come out after. But today on the podcast, I'm not sure what I want to talk about. Yes, I'm walking around in my apartment just, you know, talking. Um, not in the regular recording posture, but we're going to do it. Only today, hopefully. Today! Oh, or should I say, normally, on Valentine's Day, you would have gotten an episode from me with my women, my girls, my ladies. Uh, talking about everything I love, but guys, a lot has happened since the last time you heard from us. A lot has happened, a lot has changed, and um, with time, we don't want to rush that episode. With time, we would share, but for now, I just wanted to just, you know, touch base with us on this whole Valentine situation. I know, we have joked about it on this podcast, we have played about it, you've made so many fuzzes, and... It's <laughs> it's interesting. Um, I think when we had this conversation last year about Valentine's Day, I did go for a dinner, and um, it was an interesting dinner to see the list. And when I'm comparing both years, I just laugh and smile because I think we said it the last time that Valentine. We've said it too many times. Valentine's is delicious, you know, sharing love you know, extending and ex- doing all that great stuff. I've also listened to a bunch of my old episodes where some of my friends have mentioned that, you know, Valentine's is not the only day to show love, but, you know, if you do have someone who enjoys the Valentine's Day shenanigans, you should indulge, right? Um, but if there's anything I have come to realize that Valentine's Day is also a day that some people... Just mark register. Let me get this close to you. Or let me explain this a little further. You know. In the world that we live it today, or we live today, everybody screams, Valentine, Valentine, blah, 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 blah. And then the girl and the guy are either talking or seeing each other. And because Mr. knows that he doesn't want to make you feel bad or, you know, make you feel some type of way, he's going to do something for that Valentine's Day. He might not even mean so much to him. He's just going to do it so that you don't hound him or sister doesn't dig valentine's not her prerogative but because she knows you are going to be on her neck you know about how much you enjoy valentine's and she do something for them she will you know do it just to make you happy but then it begs this question for me no other person does this still count if they're just doing it to shut you up And I say this because last year, I mentioned, we went for dinner, right? Did go for dinner. And I did ask the question, of course, what's up? What's the point of this Valentine thing? And the answer that I got to tomorrow, <laughs> I wish I never asked the question. But then, 
it just made me realize that people just do it so that you feel some semblance of you know you're cared for and you don't hound them later and say oh on valentine's day you did not do that 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 and that so then i ask does it still count if they just do it just to shut you up or do you want it to actually make a lot of sense so i went out earlier to get a pair of shoes for dinner tonight and <laughs> interestingly every tom dick and harry that i passed on my way to the mall had a flower or had a bouquet of flowers and by the way, thank you so much, Z, for my flowers. They're so beautiful. I love them. And yeah, they're beautiful red roses. But a beautiful rose. Um, yeah, I love them so much. I love them so much. Thanks, Z. You're the best. But yeah, like I said, <laughs> every time you get hired, how a bouquet of roses, you know, for the one they love, for the person they care about, and all that good stuff. But then, I, I think I picked up my microphone to record it because I, was, I began to ask myself, how many of these people actually understand, you know, the roses that everybody's sharing? How many of these people truly want to be doing these things? Or how many of these people are actually just doing it just because? And does it even matter? Yes, they're doing it just because. So what? It's a thought that counts, right? So what's the point? <laughs> anyway, that's basically that. Um, I had a beautiful day. It's been a chill day, so like all of you know, the girl is writing thesis, losing my mind over and over every day about it, but we're making it work. And today I, you know, passed a milestone in my writing process. And I took the day well, I not like I took the day off, but it's a little day of kind of sort of rest. Uh, excited about that. And I am, um, you know, looking forward to having a great evening of good music and good food. First in the presence of the Lord. And then we go grow up in her. But yeah, that's basically it for today. I might come back again before the end of the day and give updates if there are any. But, um... Ah, uh, this is one of the best ones in a while. This is one of the best ones in a while. And uh, guys, you hear the food just later. But until then, talk to you guys later. All right. You've all had the recording from February 14, 2024. You know, listening back to all of that, it is quite uh, interesting. And I say it's interesting because... I think this year I didn't think I was going to do a, a, a Valentine episode because of all of the thesis writing that I had going on. Anyway, I of course did not have a Valentine episode go up. I don't remember if I did anything specific for that day. Of which when I say specific, I mean for the podcast. Um, and just like the recording that you just listened to said, <clears throat> it was actually a great day. It was a uh, spent a time with very special person and um i guess i'll give the full details later as the time goes ahead but it kind of made me realize that everything about valentine's that we talk about i guess following what i said is based on what you and your person wants what exactly is important to you both well how do you guys want to go about it how do you guys want to spend it there is no hard and fast road to it i guess you know, I was going on and on. I think I just come back from getting the shoe, like I said, and it just kind of clicked in my head. And I was just thinking about the year before and this year and how Valentine was for both the years. And, you know, I'm a lover girl by heart, uh, but everybody always thinks I'm a hard girl. But yeah, I guess that's the life that I've put out there. I need to do better. But also, comes to the top process of there's no need for comparison. Everything has to be loved. Like, it's you and your person. Whatever you guys decide, sure. But um, I thought that that episode needed to come out because it was something that was gnawing on me on the day that I recorded, saying, 
do people actually do this just because it's something that the world has said you need to do or is it because they actually like or it means something to them and if it's because some people are just doing it just because does that affect anything does that you know make it null and void the action but hey to each his own whatever anybody wants to do sure go ahead enjoy it but um I think my greatest takeaway is if you like something, say something. If you want something, say something. And if the person that you're wanting the something for is not doing it, maybe it's time to take a space or take take a step, a couple of steps backwards. That's it. All that conversation we always have about, oh, this do this, do that. Is it important though? No. Um, it's you and your person and you and your chi on what you want to do concerning love. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's been a minute. Um, I actually told myself that I was going to try to record an episode every week till the end of the year. I don't know how great I would do with that. Because there's so much that's happened since the year started. I think I've only posted three episodes this year on the podcast. And I guess I would explain why. Why that's been the case. I'm just looking at the thing again. And yes, I've only posted three episodes this year. If not even two. Which is quite interesting. No, I've posted only two episodes this year. <laughs> quite interesting. But the actual reasons for why that is. Like I said earlier in the episode. I was saying that I was in my thesis era. Of which, just so you know, the thesis era has come to an end. But, um, yeah, there's so much that needs to be said. There's so much to be updated you all about. And um, we'll do that. Um, there's also a new era <laughs> that is a beckoning, and I'll also share. Um, but, yeah, all in all, like, love is a beautiful thing. And, um... If you have the opportunity to experience it, experience it well. Um, what do I mean by experience it well? If you found your person and you want to spend good time with them, maybe it's not time to think about if things are going to work out or not. The question is, enjoy it. Enjoy the enjoy the love that that union or that coming together has to offer you know do your best as much as you can put god first in whatever you all are doing if you believe in god and make sure that you're doing everything that makes you happy in that relationship or in that union whatever it is and i say this to say that what's the point of being with somebody you're being in something and you're not enjoying it or you're constantly being on maybe unhappy stands or not enjoying it stands if you're not enjoying it maybe you should not be there when i say enjoying it it's like how much of joy does this person bring to you and how much of joy are you bringing to this person and again do what makes you happy if it's not making you happy rethink the process and if god is not the forefront of it what exactly are you doing i don't know i will just stop talking now but yeah i just wanted to share that episode because it seemed like something very interesting to share with y'all. This is a very short one. I don't think I've done an episode this short, but I'm about to continue recording. I'm going to stop this now and start recording again because I have another episode that is one of the reasons why you've not heard from me all year. Um, And it's about to be a little dark. So I would try, I would do a lot of warnings in that episode um before I commence, but yeah guys 2024 what a year what a year it's um a lot has happened a lot has changed a lot is new a lot is getting better i'm excited for prospects but still this year really dealt with me (laughs) but yeah oh all right guys thank you thank you thank you i don't even know what i'm thanking you for but this episode was a doozy i guess but i just felt like it was an episode that had to come out i hope i'm able to do a proper valentine episode next year with the girls though like i said with the girls too what has changed i can't wait for all of you to hear about it but 
I'm proud of my girls any day in time. Ah, I've missed recording. I've missed this whole set of recording. And guys, pray for me. I really want to do a video. Like, I want to do more video episodes. I've been told to do more video episodes. I think I prefer them. But um, it's a lot of logistics that I don't want to think about. Yeah. Also, guys, anyone who's listening to me out there that wants to help a struggling podcaster to edit episodes, please hit me up at thatonelady at gmail.com. It's D-A-T-O-N-E-L-E-D-Y at gmail.com. We would really appreciate. Me, myself, and I would appreciate maybe a producer that can edit. I don't know. Someone who can help with the episode. Have a wonderful, guys. Oh, have a wonderful day, guys. Until next time, keep leaving. You're trusting. Bye now. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening to today's episode of the podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, do not forget to like, comment, and share this podcast with your friends, family, or anyone you think that would benefit from this episode of the podcast. Also, do not forget to rate the podcast on whatever podcast application you listen on. Please do that so that others can be able to see and find our podcast and enjoy what you're also enjoying. Did by any chance you have comments that you think you don't want to share in the comment session, go ahead and look in the description box and you'll find our email address and you can reach out to us. We would love, love, love to hear from you. Until next time, thank you for listening again and have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you.